Hey, Ruan here from Tunnel Vision TV, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a hologram in After Effects using Trap Code Form. All right, so in After Effects, I'm going to create a new composition. Going to make it five seconds long. Uh, click on OK. And what you want to do is you want to download or create a 3D object. Um, I just actually downloaded something from uh, Turbo Squid. So you want to import that 3D object, an OBJ file. So I'm just going to import that and drag that into my composition. And then you can hide that from your comp because we're only going to use the object. We're not really going to display it um, as it is here. Okay, next up, you're going to create a new solid. Um, make sure this is the same size as your comp and click OK. And then you want to apply the trap code form effect to that uh, solid. So I'm just going to select trap code and form. And then what you want to do is in the base form settings, you want to scroll down or you want to select your OBJ model. And then at the bottom where it says OBJ settings, just expand that and then select your OBJ layer that you added to your comp. And you will see that that will actually load your 3D model into your viewport. So you can play around with your rotation settings just to um, actually rotate your model the way you want it to be. So I'm going to rotate it something like that. And then next up, you're going to create a camera. So just go new camera. Uh, you can leave all the default settings. And then we're just going to track closer using the track camera tool. Just going to track in. All right. So I'm just going to try and rotate this a little bit better. So we can kind of see what's going on there. And if you rotate, you should be able to see your object in kind of a 3D view. Okay, so next up, we're going to go to the particle settings. And let's just give it a color. So click on the color picker and just give it a any color you like, actually. I'm going to take like a green. And then change the transfer mode from add to normal. Um, and then one more thing, change the size to 0 0.3. And then we'll just give you like a smaller particle size, um, which I think looks a little bit better. Okay, next up, we want to add some depth of field to this. Um, so go to your camera settings, expand camera options, and then enable depth of field. And then what you need to do is change your active or your view from active camera to top. And we're going to change the focus distance, make that a lot smaller. Let's start at about 200. And you'll see the focus distance uh, line appears. And just expand that until that kind of touches the 3D object. Because you want to have the, the front part of the 3D object in focus and the rest of the object out of focus. And then change this back to uh, active camera. And then you can also play with the aperture size. Obviously, the bigger this is, the more out of focus the rest of the object will be. So I'm going to put it on about 50 or so. I think that looks good. So now you can go back to your 3D object. Let's just rename this. I'm going to call this car. And what I want to do next is I want to add some animation to this. So I'm going to go to my rotation. Let's just set that to zero. And I'm going to create a keyframe. And then let's go to the end of my timeline and change that to 360. So it does like a full rotation. So that's the basic animation I'm going to do for this. And then what you want to do is you want to duplicate your car layer. So just press Command D. Um, and then let's rename that and call it Blur. Okay, make sure your blur layer is also above the car layer. And you can switch off the car layer for now. And on the blur layer, you want to add a directional blur. And then you want to make the blur length about 1000. You can obviously play with that and see um, even maybe something like maybe around 700 or so. And then you'll basically have your blur effect that will go around your 3D object. 
Um, another thing that I find um, that makes it a little bit more realistic is if you have your blur flicker on and off uh, very quickly. So to create that, go into your blur layer and expand form and go to under your particle um, settings, go to the opacity and do a alt click on the opacity stopwatch. And we're going to add an expression here. Just type in wiggle and then open bracket. And we're going to make this about 12 comma 100 close bracket and that will just give you like a faint flicker so it's going to change the opacity um, 12 times a second for a range of or in the range of 100 so if we play that back you'll see it's got like a little flicker on it so very basic stuff really um, you can do so much with form but hopefully this will give you guys some ideas um, that you can use form and create some awesome hologram effects Right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you like this one. Also leave some comments below if you want to see um, specific tutorials. And yeah, if you want to be notified of any new tutorials, click the subscribe button. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Bye.